Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, and we are here because we got... I don't know if it's a rumor or if it's set in stone. We got Lisa Renner wanting to make as much or more than what Candy Burris make. Isn't that something? Lord, I thought just the women on Real Housewives of Atlanta was coming from her. But now we got the Beverly Hills people coming after her. All right? And they want the money. They want the money. So I wonder who told them how much Candy made. Mm. What rumor got started and she got the tea on what Candy Burris makes, allegedly. But her plight is to make $2 million. Okay, $2 million. I'm like, damn, how much probable plan over there? Shoot, a hundred grand is good for six months. Because I think that's their contract. They work. Uh, filming for six months and the other six months they do promotion. Chow. But we get it from the Jasmine brand. Yes, we do. And she titles it exclusive. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Lisa Renna still would not make more than Candy Burris even if she made two million. Okay. Mm hmm. So, is Candy like five or ten million over there? I can see why she don't want to pull up stakes and go on her merry way. But she did say out her own mouth, she got a good relationship with Bravo. And she has no problem with continuing to work uh, with them. She's going to rock with them until they don't want to rock with her no more. But if they still rocking with her, she's still rocking with them. And that's pretty much where we stood with Candy ever leaving this show. Okay? But if they getting paid like this, why would she? Woohoo! Okay, but get on into the article that Jasmine Brand bought out for our viewing pleasure. Um, <clears throat> according to Radar Online, Reno wants to make two million, which allegedly would position her to make more than Candy Burris. However, sources tell us that this amount is less than what Candy makes. The source tells us. Oh. Can they make it more than two million a season? Talk to us, tell us more. Tell us till we won't know more. Even with what she alleged even with what she's allegedly negotiating, she still would not make as much as candy. <clears throat> original story the real housewives of beverly hills star lisa renna is currently renegotiating her new contract with bravo and reportedly demanding that she be the highest paid real housewife on the network or she won't come back well hell you might not come back sister lou <laughs> you might not come back but anyway <clears throat> that's just my point not in the article it says sources told Radar Online that Lisa Renner doesn't need Bravo. They said <clears throat> at this point, Bravo needs Lisa more than Lisa needs Bravo. She was a star before Bravo and will be a star long after Bravo. Okay, Lisa knows her worth and knows how to negotiate. Only Lisa is willing to call their bluff. <clears throat> And walk away if she doesn't get the deal she wants. While the other ladies are frightened to upset Andy. Lisa is fearless. She's not frightening of him or anyone else. Okay. Insiders add that Rena, uh, Rena is demanding $2 million a season. Which would make her the highest paid Real Housewife ever. Currently the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast earn the most. Candy Burris is reported paid a little less than $2 million 
per season, making her the highest paid housewife. Lisa Renner has been a main cast member on Real House of Beverly Hills since season 5 in 2014. The reality star has consistently brought the drama every season and is known for stirring the pot. Reportedly, negotiations are still ongoing and the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star has yet to sign her contract. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris is is one season away from becoming the longest standing housewife across all franchises. As you may already know, season 14 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta has wrapped and the series is in the middle of airing its three-part reunion special. Following part one of the special, some viewers speculated that this may be Candy Burris's final season because she wasn't sitting directly next to uh Next to reunion host Andy Cohen, fans of Bravo franchise believe that the leading housewives normally sit on the left and right of Andy Cohen. However, according to Candy, that's not necessarily true. During a recent interview, she said, The seat next to Andy is not about who has the most seniority or who's making the most coin or who's the most important. It's about who was in the most mess that particular season. Even though the cast for season 15 hasn't officially been revealed yet, reports um, claims they will begin filming soon as Candy has returned, giving her the title of the longest standing housewife. Candy originally joined the Atlanta-based franchise in 2009 for season 2 and has held a peach uninterrupted for 13 seasons since joining the series. Fans have watched Candy launch successful businesses, ventures, get married and grow her family and so much more okay well that's where we at miss Ren miss lisa renner is saying look if i'm not going to make as much as the girls that's in real housewives of atlanta and we've been here just as long as a franchise over here i'm not coming back <laughs> i'm like lisa 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 girl don't demand something that you possibly won't be getting. But if you are good, try it. Try it, honey. If you're good with your money and you don't really need the housewives, but housewives, so you say, needs you, go on and roll that dice and see how it happens for you. Go on and roll that dice. But I'm pretty sure Candy is sitting there laughing somewhere. So, damn, I got haters over there in Beverly Hills. Because Candy is doing a lot with the... Uh, was it the piano lesson um uh, play that's up in new york okay candy don't spend a lot of time in california but she can if she had to <laughs> but yes candy burris is being called out because she makes more than any other housewives that have been on the franchise now you know, people like to speculate. They don't necessarily really, really know, you know. But some people might have some inside intel that can definitely say, well, yeah, Candy make like $14 more dollars more than you. Or she make make two more dollars than you. And they feel like they need it just as much as she needs it. Okay? But I'm like, Irina, Lisa, if you're doing excellent and other endeavors outside of housewives you don't need to uh ask for more money now, if you just need more money because you just want more money then okay if you think you are a great asset and you can continue bringing in those fantastic ratings then girl go ahead shoot your shot shoot your shot but i can tell you this and i ain't gonna say it no more Candy Burris I ain't going to leave nothing where she don't have to really do nothing. You see what I'm saying? When she's with uh, the other members of the group at Skate, she got to work. She got to sing. She got to move. You know what I'm saying? She got to be sexualized. But on Real Housewives of Atlanta, she can just have a complete conversation. She ain't got to be in no mess, no drama. It just depends on how she's going to flow. Now, of course, we know her brand. She don't want her brand to be looking any kind of ratchet. You know what I'm saying? So she's going to always be on the cool, calm head side, you know? Because, you know, when she was, I don't know what season she had called herself 
going to Nene's um, little get together they had where it was like a sleepover. Oh, they were coming with their sleepwear, but then they were going to go back home. Oh, just a little fun time they was having and Nene was hosting. And something had happened. Something had popped off and then Candy was like slapping her hands. I'm like, I drag a bitch in this, this whatever they was at. I said, okay, okay. You're trying to act like you big shot, okay? Don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't cash. Don't check your ass. Can't cash, okay? That's all I'm saying. You get to rustling and tussling with somebody. You may think you had good intentions of whipping that person ass, but then, whoa, whoa, whoa. They might clock you before you even know it, and then you on the floor trying to figure out what the hell happened. But, okay, okay, I get you, Ken. I get you, girl. But, honey, Lisa Renner, Renner is checking you out from what she hear, because I've never heard or seen you uh, talk about any of the housewives of Beverly Hills. Uh, maybe I missed it when you probably actually did. I don't think you hang out with Lisa Renner, but... I'm sure she asked you to come to dinner with her. I'm sure you were obliged. But, honey, she on your heels. She wants your money that you're getting. She wants the same payday. Mm-mm. And she says she is worth the money because she brings the ratings in every season. Every season. Okay? But as this story develops, we'll be right back giving you updates, giving you candy side of what she felt about what Lisa Renner said and what Lisa Renner is still saying that she wants more money. She wants to be the main chick on the block that's flossing, that's grooving, just cruising. You know what I'm saying? She wants that title, head housewife making most money. I can't say Monday women. Mondays making money, making money, making money mo- Mondays. That's what Rena says. She want to make it Monday through Sunday, honey. She making the most. She want to be respected because she is the chick. Okay, so we'll see what um Andy say and the other people that make the salaries for each returning or as Candy has been the longest standing one that's there. And she sl- slid herself into it. But, you know, I always say, you know, not saying Ken is boring, but it's just not like she brings any excitement, I guess, what I, I like to say. Uh, she don't bring in, like, real, you know, drama, drama. Now, we like the home set she give us when she's at home. She's playing with Baby Ace. She's playing with Baby Blaze. And, you know, they're doing that little thing. I like that family scene type. Because that seemed like we that's the only family. Okay, because Kane don't have nobody but her in uh, Brooklyn. But uh, let me see. Sheree, no. Okay. Well, we, we got, well, okay, we got two people now. We didn't have them before that because it just was Kenya, Candy. Um, who was it? That was Portia. She had a boyfriend. She didn't have no husband at the time. Well, hell, she still ain't got no no husband. I do she. Mm-hmm. And she, they said she want to come back, but she want to make five million. I'm like, the only way we would pay you, uh, five million, or I should say, Bravo would pay you, if you really came with some drama without putting your hands on people, Portia. Once you start putting them hands on folks, we just lose interest. I, even though we sitting there, we looking at what you finna mess up or who gonna mess up on you, but we still gonna be like dogging you because we said no violence. You could talk with your mouth if you want to, but don't get them hand actions going, okay? That's assault charge. That's jail time. And probably ain't got time for that, okay? They said, no, everything has to be settled in arbitration. We ain't going to jail, okay? And you should know that by messing with Kenya. Because I heard you had to pay her some money under the tape, child. You had to pay her some money so you didn't really end up in jail. But that's the room they got on the streets. I don't know if it's really true or not. I don't see why they would bring Portia back. Because they, they have enough drama. Especially with uh Sonya. Uh, Sang- well, yeah, Sonya's husband, Ross. He he just really made me look at him totally different. And maybe I'll, I'll look differently at him as the season uh, starts to prepare itself and it comes back on. Maybe. Because I believe, you know, people make mistakes. They misspeak. Uh... Or, or, or make themselves look better than what they really are, just depending on that s- situation and circumstances that person was feeling at the time. You know, everybody's human. Some people misstep, misspeak, and we just have to give the understanding, and hopefully he won't do that again. Then I might be on his team. But 
he don't need maybe he learned this lesson because he wasn't so familiar about reality shows and what can be said what can be done to piss you off and you sitting up there you know and your feelings and you feel like i ain't finna go out like no dummy everybody watching me on this show she this show go national wide how can it sound worldwide well you know how far i go worldwide too on any other platforms or, or, or the, the different states they are in but that's all I got, y'all. I ain't got no more. And if you really want to tune in for more of my lovely videos, exciting videos, messy videos, I have y'all see it, dumb videos, just make sure you hit the notification bell and then you'll know when I upload and ready to drop that new video. And please always share. If you don't want to share, because sharing is caring, please just like it and subscribe to the channel. How about that? You know I'm going to keep begging you all the time. I was just going to do it, okay? Because every time you click on a video, you give me a click and a view. But I really would like for you to like my videos. Because then that gets me out uh, to other people. It gets me out to a bigger platform of people not knowing who I am. And then they click on my video. They get their little kikis, ha ha and stuff of that nature. But subscribe too. Subscribing is very important to me as well. Okay? I'm just saying. It's, you, you, that's all you got to do. I don't ask for no membership. I don't even ask y'all for no money. I just ask you to do one thing. Subscribe to the channel. Like my videos, and if you feel you want to be caring, share the video, okay? And that's all I got. I ain't got no more. I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.